come to uh, county number 17, Makwene County, uh, where we have uh, started engaging in what uh, we are calling a stakeholder consultation uh, forum. And this consultation is towards uh, preparing uh, what is called medium term plan four. And this uh, medium term plan four is uh, to help us in um, managing uh, allocating resources, identifying uh, priorities uh, in terms of policies, uh, programs, and projects that the national government and the county government will be implementing in the period 2023 to 2027. Uh, this is an exercise that is going on throughout the country. Uh, we started this exercise on Monday, 28th of March, and we expect that uh, the county consultation forum uh, we go on until the 4th of April, where we will have covered all the 47 uh, counties and sat in engagements like this, where every engagement is taking a whole day and listening to stakeholders uh, from different uh, walks of life uh, in terms of getting their inputs and uh, getting their suggestions and their views uh, on what policies, what programs and projects. Uh, we should prioritize uh, going forward. Uh, obviously, uh, this is an initiative that is uh, coordinated at the national government level by the Ministry of uh, National Treasury and Planning. Uh, but then we are doing this in conjunction uh, with the county commissioner's office uh, in the various uh, counties where we are having the sessions and also with the county governments under the leadership of the uh, respective county uh, governor, and in this case in Makweni, I have with me on my right uh, the governor of uh, Makweni County, His Excellency uh, Professor Kebuda Kebwana. Maybe what? You know, the medium term uh, planning framework is the basis on which, at the national level, we are able to identify the priorities, as I've indicated, the priorities uh, for policies, for programs, and projects. And then for counties, as they are doing their CIDPs, which are called County Integrated Development Plans, then they will develop them uh, using that framework uh, that has been agreed and um, amalgamated on the national government level, of course, in very, very close consultation with the counties like we are doing today. And also we'll expect that uh, the counties will bring in uh, what is unique in the environment, like in Makweni, I will expect um, people in Makweni to bring in uh, things that are important in Makweni. Of course, water would be one of the things that is important in Makweni. Uh, communication, that is infrastructure, and many other things that uh, we expect uh, in Makweni County uh, to bring in. But let me also add a point that in the course of us going around in this county consultation forum, we are picking uh, very good uh, examples of where counties have been very successful in doing something that should be uh, copied and emulated by other counties. So in a way, in the feedback uh, arrangement that we shall have later, where we'll come back to the counties to punish them with the reports on what we have gathered going around uh, the country, we'll also now be able to tell the counties, look, there is something else which is happening, uh, which can also be applied in your counties that can help you to use the resources that you have to a lot of kwanza na mshukuru uh, bwana PS pamoja na wafanyikazi wote kutoka serikali kuu uh, kwa kuamua kwamba yeye uh, atakuwa uh, mwenyekiti wa mkutano huu katika kaunti yetu kwa sababu kaunti zote ni nyingi ni 47 na amechagua uh, kuja katika kaunti hii katika kikao hiki cha maana uh, sana vile uh, vile watu wale wameandikwa na uh, serikali kuu ya upper county county commissioner's office eh, tumechunguza na kuona kwamba ni washikandao wa maana na wametoka katika kila ward na therefore sub county na kwa hivyo tunajua kwamba mazungumzo yatakuwa ni ya muhimu ni ya manufaa kwa watu wa makueni wakitaje ni nini kile kinahitajika hapa uh, makuene na uh, sitaki kusema mambo mengi juu ya ni nini tunahitaji kwa sababu 
sisi tu pia tumeandika tume memoranda vitu vingi tumeleta tume mbele kwa serikali kuu hapo awali na watu watazunguza wao wenyewe e, na kutakuwa na feedback uh, uh, also sessions e, kwa hivyo e, mambo ya yote e, ipokuwa tumesema kwamba kuna mambo ya cluster development wakati kila cluster zetu 377 zinapata pesa e, which is also part of livelihood guarantee kujaribu na zinafanya e, maendeleo yale na yahusu e, sana yanawahusu sana ikiwa ni barabara zina zina shida za zile ndogo ndogo ikiwa ni jambo maji kupeleka maji mahali karibu na watu e, kwa hivyo nafikiri hilo ni jambo na watu wakifanya kazi wanaweka pesa mfukoni na wanapanga wao wenyewe wanasaidiwa na e, county government technical people uh, county administration na national administration kwa hivyo tunafikiri ni jambo labda linaweza kuangaliwa kamba litapata e, nafasi e, katika e, MTP uh, hii pia kushughulikia vijana e, tumesema kwamba ikiwezekana e, hata sekta hii ya boda boda inaweza kuwa ni sekta ya uh, vijana Uh, na wanasaidiwa katika ya ile inaitwa uh, financial intermediation kupata uh, loans uh, uh, za very accessible at a interest ikiwa ni kidogo sana hadi ni fixed cost at a zero interest uh, kwa sababu mpesa ilisaidia sana ikafungua uchumi kwa hali ya juu uh, hii boda boda ikasaidia majuu sana na sasa tukipata mikopo ya rais uh, hii itasaidia vijana na itasaidia wengine wale ni wanabiashara hata wale ni wa chini ndio kuwe na haki kwa wote nikimalizia ni kusema eh, kusema kwamba eh, draft hii ikitoka na tunaeleza kama inaweza kutoka kwa mwezi wa saba uh, draft ya MTP eh, 2023 2027 ikitoka Eh, itaangaliwa tena na serikali ile inakuja uh, na ndio na wao waone kutoka manifesto zao ni nini kile inafaa vile vile eh, kishughulikiwe eh, katika uh, katika hiyo uh, uh, framework na kwa hivyo inapaswa wananchi na wao E, washi, washiriki katika kutengeneza kwa manifesto za vyama sio kuachia vyama peke yao peke zao e, vishughulikie e, manifesto kwa hivyo uh, manifesto ya vyama itachangia baadaye katika this process ya MTP uh, kwa hivyo ni jambo tu la kuwauliza wananchi wajue kwamba that's another window for making sure that they participate in getting the development things that they require uh, uh, to come uh, to their counties uh, their localities na mwisho ni shukuru uh, minister of finance uh, kwa sababu kumekuwa na muda mgumu uh, treasury uh, kumekuwa na the national treasury ni washukuru kumekuwa na muda mgumu sana uh, kwa sababu ya covid pesa za kodi zilikuwa zizi kanavyo na lakini wakajaribu juu chini mpaka sasa covid inaendelea hajaisha uh, kabisa lakini inaendelea kuisha na tunafikiri ushuru utakuwa sasa ni bora zaidi na pesa zitaanza e, sasa e, kuja katika counties na mahali pengine kote e, e, as usual e, kwa sababu hata mpaka sasa tunawahojea za mwezi wa pili na watatu lakini hata hii ikiwa iko ndio uh, nimesema na shukuru kwa sababu kama mtu anaelewa na alifanya kazi katika national government naelewa when there is a shock in the economy it is not always easy and so uh, we know that economies which have more or less collapsed even on the continent so we must thank you for that steadfastness na kufanya kazi eh, nzuri na kusaidia nchi eh, yetu uh, asante
Rukutnya ada lagi.